Dito sa Kupang Muntinlupa, matatagpuan ang planta ng Kawasaki Motors Philippines. Kada buwan, labing walong libong motorsiklo ang lumalabas mula sa plantang ito. Patunay kung bakit isa ang Kawasaki sa mga nangungunang motorcycle manufacturer sa bansa. At para sa mga anak sa pagtutur sa planta, makakasama natin si Mr. Joselito Dancel. Importante ang role ni Sir Joselito sa planta dahil trabaho niya na siguraduhin tuloy-tuloy at efficient ang paggawa sa buong planta. How long have you been with the, with the company, sir? Well, I started in 1988, so okay. exactly I work here for 30 years. 30 years, so you must know the factory inside out. Kilala, yes. kilala mo na. It looks like there's a lot of activity and then I'm looking yes. forward na bumisita no, as we walk through uh, some of the areas, the major areas. Una naming pinuntahan ni Sir Joselito ang lugar kung saan binubuo ang mga fuel tanks ng motor. And as you can see, tuloy-tuloy ang paggawa ng mga tao dito. What is this area where we are? Uh, we call this the fuel tank welding line. Okay, ano ang nangyayari in, the, in this area, the fuel tank welding line? No, this, this is where we, tanks. where we fabricated the fuel tank of our Barako motorcycle, uh -huh. the Fury 125. So every day we are producing uh, one, 300 plus of motor, uh, motorcycle fuel tank. Uh -huh. And over here you will actually see some of the, the finished yes. products yes, of yes. the efforts. This is the complete fuel tank already. And uh, up, we are doing a uh, leak testing machine okay. prior to submitting to our painting section. Trivia muna tayo guys. Alam nyo ba na 55 minutes lang ang kailangan para tapusin ang isang fuel tank? Ang bilis, parang motor. Sir, dito tuloy ang uh, ating uh, plant tour. Ano naman tong area that we're approaching now? Paolo, ito na yung ating ano, frame welding line. Okay, very, very interesting tong area na to sa akin. Ha? What happens here, sir? Actually, this is where we assembled our complete frame of our motorcycles. So okay. we have two motorcycles that being fabricated here in this area. One is the Barako and one is the Beauty. Semi-automatic ang assembly line dito. Pero hindi aabuti ng 10 minutes at tapos na nilang gawin ang frame ng isang motorsiklo. So ito naglilinis na sila ng mga weld. Yes, this is the final cleaning and then inspection. And then after that, we will proceed with the boring machine. And then after the boring machine, we will go to the frame alignment. All right, so here, I can see there's somebody mixing paint, and we can see the parts coming off uh, along your assembly line. Obviously, we're in the painting section. Yes, right? we are. Exactly. Okay, how long usually does the process of painting take? One complete revolution of the conveyor is 3.2 hours. Okay. So after uh, 3.2 hours, we will receive 20 sets of parts. Okay. That is uh, ready for assembly line. Ngayon naman, pupunta tayo sa pinakapaborito kong area sa planta, ang engine assembly area. Dito binubuo ang mga makina na nagpapatakbo sa mga iba't ibang motorsiklo ng Kawasaki. At alam nyo ba, puro babae ang nagtatrabaho dito. This is a 100% uh, female uh, section. That's very interesting. Bakit? Uh, female are more focused compared to male. Okay. Male are more stronger and much faster. Okay. But when we are talking about quality, we have to assure that there will be no mistake. Okay. So ang nakikita natin binubuo ngayon, sir, anong mga engines yan? Uh, we have uh, two engines being assembled here. One is Barako, another one is the Fury 125. Right, okay. Alright, sir, dito medyo itsurang motor na ang lumalabas dito. No? We've gone through the different areas and obviously, ito na yung completed work. Yes. Uh, what exactly happens as they come down this conveyor belt? Oh, this is now the final stage of our assembly of the production line. So after going down, this is now ready for starting. Okay. We will do the quality control, the final okay. fusing. Pagkatapos ng lahat ng prosesong dinaanan natin kanina, dito sa finished goods area, dinadala ang lahat ng nabuong motorsiklo. Ito ang pinaka-importanting bahagi ng proseso dahil dito malalaman kung may problema o wala ang motor na ginawa nila. I'm, I'm watching some of the people working in this area. No? Lahat kinitignan nila. Does the stand work? Does the shifting <laughs> yes, work? Yes, yes. Uh, they're connecting temporary electrical and yes, uh, gasoline no. lines. Pinapaandar talaga yung mga motor. Yes, 100% they are starting the motorcycle. That right, is part okay. of the inspection. Ito 
And then from here, lumalabas na siya and it's ready for pickup. Yeah, ready, ready for pickup, ready for delivery to our dealers. All right. Let's now shift our attention sa isa pang bagong modelo ng Kawasaki, ang Rouser NS200FI. Kung natuwa tayo dati sa unang lumabas na Rouser, mas lalo tayong matutuwa ngayon sa mas pinalakas at pinakabagong version nito. Noong unang dumating sa bansa ang Kawasaki Rouser, pumatok kaagad ito. Hindi lang sa mga veteranong rider, kundi pati sa mga nagsisimula pa lang magmotorsiklo. Parang big bike na rin kasi ang feel nito, pero at an affordable price range. And then, here comes the Rouser NS200FI. Equipped with fuel injection technology, mas naging fuel efficient din ang bagong Rouser without compromising on power and performance. At dahil mas fuel efficient, perfect sa long rides ang bagong Rouser. Malakas din itong bagong Rouser dahil sa ito ay 200cc na. Ito pa ay may feature na DTSI or Digital Triple Spark Ignition System. Dahil dito, mas smooth ang power delivery ng Rouser NS200FI. Pagdating naman sa forma, hindi ka mapapahiya sa bagong Rouser. Machong-macho ang styling nito at siguradong mapapalingon ang mga kasabay mo sa kalsada. Kung meron man akong suggestion, mas okay sana kung may gear indicator ang bagong Rouser. Pero kung pagbabasehan mo ang performance at price range nito, wala ka nang mahihiling pa siguro. When it comes to the Rouser NS200FI, yes, it's a 200cc bike. It's a little bit smaller in terms of displacement compared to the Z650, pero hindi hindi ka mabibitan, especially when it comes to performance, styling, and of course, yung addition of the fuel injection feature. So marami na sa atin ang humanga at nagmahal na sa first generation of a Rouser. Simpleng-simple ang kanyang uh, instrument cluster. Uh, very sporty ang styling. Medyo hinanapan ko lang sana siya ng gear indicator but that's something that you can add on as an aftermarket accessory. Um, it does have a shift light. Uh, so very sporty rin ang dating. Pag, uh, pag umaabot ka na into the red line, nag, uh, sumis sumisin din na yung shift light reminding you that you need to shift up a gear. The shifting is very, very smooth actually on the, on the Rouser NS200FI. Uh, konti lang ang vibrations that's coming from this single cylinder water-cooled engine. It's got rubber uh, foot pegs, so yung vibrations niya doesn't make its way uh, into your feet. Medyo hindi magmamanhid yung feet mo uh, on your longer rides. Now speaking of longer rides, malapad at maganda ang kote ng uh, upuan ng uh, Rouser 200 NS or NS200 FI I should say. Uh, bagay na bagay siya for long ride. Very comfortable also for your pillion passenger. I will mention na medyo mas bagay siya sa medyo mas matangkad na tao. It's a little bit of a taller bike. Um, kahit na 200cc lang siya, uh, malaki yung dating niya. It looks quite big. It looks impressive. The Rouser NS200 FI has gotten even better with the addition of fuel injection. Mas lalong tumipid na siya ngayon at mas lalo pang gumanda ang kanyang performance. 